In this video I'll do a quick overview of the ESP8266 module. There is a good chance that you already heard about this Wi-Fi module. This module is everywhere. You can get one for less than $4 off eBay. And let's face it, compared to other Wi-Fi alternatives in the market, it's a no-brainer to get a couple of these ESP8266 models just to play with them. There is a link in the video description where you can buy one. There are a few other versions of this model. I'll be using the ESP01 version V090, which has two LEDs right there. Let's take a closer look of the pinout. On the top left pin is ground, the bottom right pin is VCC and it's rated at 3.3 volts. You also have RX and TX right there, three GPIO pins and a reset pin. Unfortunately this model is not breadboard friendly, so you can either use some female to male jumper wires and connect your model like this, or you can do an extra step and create a small adapter for your breadboard. Grab a piece of strip board, two leather rows with 4 pins each, and a 2x4 stackable leather. Then solder everything together. Make sure you test with a multimeter short circuits before applying power to your model. And this is the end result. Now it's much easier to access the ESP8266 pins. You can send 80 commands with an Arduino. Here's the code that you have to upload into your Arduino. It's just a blank sketch. And here's the circuit. And no, that's not a mistake. The TX from the module connects to the TX in the Arduino and the RX connects to the RX. You could also use one of these FTDI models and wire your circuit like that. In this case, the TX of the FTDI module goes into the RX of the ESP8266 and vice versa. Remember that this model works at 3.3 volts, so be careful when using it with an Arduino or any FTDI programmer. Now, let's send some 80 commands. Plug your module to your computer. Open a serial monitor. Now, I'll apply power to my module and a message saying system ready prompts. Set your serial monitor to both new line and carriage return and to a baud rate of 9.6. Keep in mind that I'm using the latest version of the firmware available at the time of recording this video. Some modules come with 11.52 baud rate by default, and this is subject to change in the future. You can watch my other video on how to update the ESP8266 to the latest version of the firmware in that link below. Now we're all set. Type AT and you should see OK. You can type AT plus GMR to see the version of firmware running in your module. There are plenty of other commands to configure your module. I'll leave a link in the video description with all the commands. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for upcoming videos using this module. Thanks for watching.